Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We're gonna learn about the flowering plants. For helping you to understand, please open your book, page 4. What is the flowering plants? What do you think about these pictures? Why this plant is called by the flowering plants? Okay, let me explain to you. Flowers play an important part in many people's life. In Indonesia, for example, different types of flowers are used at important functions such as wedding, religious, celebration, and funerals. At the flowering plants, look at the pictures. Flowering plants refer to the group of plants that produce flower in order to reproduce. Like the guava plants is called by flowering plants because the guava plants is producing the flower. And this is the example of the blueberry flowering plants. And then this is the flower of the strawberry plants. Besides having interesting colors and a nice skin, Flowers have an important role as the reproductive organ. They ensure that the plant will continue to exist. Flowering plants reproduce new plants in a process that is called the life cycle because each stage is repeated each time a new plant is made and there are six main stage in the life cycle of the flowering plants and I will explain to you one by one. Seeds. We can think of seeds at the first stage in the life cycle of the flowering plants. With the right conditions such as water and warm, seeds will start to grow. When that happens, we say they have germinated. What does it mean of germinated? Germinated means berkecamba. So the flowering plants will grow at the first time of roots and of shoots. Second, seedling. We can think of seedling as the second stage in the life cycle of the flowering plants. The first, the first shoots and the first roots start to grow. Okay, next, young plant. We can think of young plants as the third stage in the life cycle. We can now identify what kind of plant it is. Next to the other stage, adult plants. We can think of adult plants as the fourth stage in the life cycle. At this stage, the plant is fully grown and the flower is produced also. In the process of a reproduction, the flowering plant have to go through the pollination and the fertilization process until they will produce the seeds. Seeds are very important in the life cycle of the flowering plant because the purpose of seeds is to germinate and grow into the new plant. So these are about the life cycle of the flowering plants. Do you understand?